Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and welcome to our day 4 video with our Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. Today we're going to go over Samsung apps and go over the S Pen a little bit as well. And just as a heads up, sorry for the quality of this video, I have a small YouTube channel and I record all of my videos using a smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't normally do laptop reviews, but hopefully the information helps you out. Alright, let's go ahead and just jump right in. First one is the screen recorder. Once you open up the screen recorder app, you have this pop-up at the very top. First thing you'd want to do is go into settings first, and here we can adjust a few of the settings. So we have the display here, the webcam source, and the webcam source is a selfie camera that will show up on screen. You could even switch this to a rectangle if you'd prefer, and also you can adjust the size here. And this is actually pretty big, so I'm going to go ahead and just stick with the one in the middle. And we'll leave the resolution at the highest resolution possible. And then you can also scroll through in case you don't want your mouse cursor to show. So now we'll go ahead and push this right here. And that'll enable the selfie camera. As you can see here, it's pretty big. And let's switch this to a circle. I'll just rotate this so you can see the camera view. <laughs> So for me, it's pretty clear, and I'll just show you the different sizes, and it actually gets pretty big. It can take up a large part of your screen if you wanted to. And at any time you're recording, this does not show up on the screen, and you can also take a screenshot by just tapping this. And once we're ready to record, go ahead and just tap record. There's a countdown, you can also skip the countdown if you want. And let's just do a quick screen write. Or how about a smart select, so we don't take up the whole screen. So that's saved, and when you're done, just tap he here on the video to end it. And your video will be automatically saved in the video folder here. And let's use Samsung Gallery. So I'll just scroll through here, and now we have our screen recorded video. You can edit and do whatever with it as you please. Next up, let's try out Quick Share by sharing this file with our smartphone. That's the file we recorded. Go ahead and open up Quick Share. And here you can update this to no one, contacts only, and everyone. To get this to work on your phone, you'll also need Quick Share enabled. And here I have it enabled on my S21 as contacts only. And it shows two of them because I'm using this S21 and the one that's recording this video is S21 as well. To share this video, you're just gonna tap and hold and drop it on the name. Th then I'll get a pop-up. And here we have our video right on our phone been really fun just to send files and not having to use a thumb drive or email myself something so really cool all right let's try out the next samsung app and they have this app called quick search and let's go ahead and search for the taskbar x and that's the application we use to change our desktop this way and i'm going to go ahead and just screen right since i have my pen here here we have the taskbar x but the weir one weird thing is it doesn't show the icon of the application if I open up the folder with the file, this taskbar X is the same file as this one right here. Taskbar EXE, May 14, 166 kilobyte. This is the same application, however, it doesn't show the icon. In case you're looking for a specific application, you might not recognize it right away because it's lacking the icon. Now for the next part of this video, we're going to focus on the S Pen. So sorry in advance, there's a little bit of background noise. And just as a tip, if you're working on tablet mode and you want to turn off the screen, just press the fingerprint scanner on the bottom. And you can also press it again to turn your display back on. To activate Air Command, just tap on the S Pen button anywhere near the screen, and you'll get this pop-up. Now one thing I noticed is there isn't a way to change this from the right side. The only other option here is to open Air Command and edit shortcuts. So in case you're left-handed or if you want it in a different position, my recommendation would be to put the shortcuts here on your start screen. So we'll put the live message and we'll pin that to the start. Now you have two ways of accessing live message. One, via air command, and now you can access it via the start button. And you can also pin this at the, at the bottom as well in case you want to go that route. Now let's go ahead and try out a live message. If you've ever used this before, it's similar, but we can also change the dimensions. And if you tap on the settings, you can also change the format from GIF to MP4. My suggestion would be just to keep it as GIF, it'll be easier to share it. And you can also make sure that it stays less than 10 megabytes. 
And in case you need to undo, you can just undo the message, redo, start over, and also play button. And let's try that again, this time with a smaller S Pen. And whenever you're done, just tap on save. The other main app today that I want to cover is Samsung Note. We're just going to use our air command here, create a note, and here you have Samsung Notes opened up. One of the things that's really weird about it is you can't draw the entire screen anymore. This is the size of a standard paper. So to make this easier, what I like to do is switch the background color so you can see the actual dimensions of what you can write on. And since we're here, you can also add lines to the Samsung Notes if you want. Now let's go ahead and erase this. So you have two options, erase by line and erase by area. And you can change the size of the area. Go ahead and just add a photo here. One of the things you can do is hold the S Pen button and it works as an eraser. And that will match the recent size that you chose here. And there's just so much you can do with Samsung Notes. You can add a video recording, audio file. We can add a text box here, drag the text box. And we can use our keyboard. And in case you made any errors, you can just swipe to erase the word. Another thing you can do is you can draw an arrow and that'll create a space. So just a quick note on there. You can also move this text around. And in case you want to edit, you can use the prompts here on the side to make the font even bigger and also change the colors. Or we can also make a list. And let's just go ahead and add a title to this. Once you're done, you can go ahead and tap on share and you can share it as different files, PDF, Word or image. Alright guys, that is our day 4 video with our Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. We went over a couple of Samsung apps and used the S Pen as well. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.